Hello and welcome to our instructional video on the EcoDice Game Multimodal Assessment Tool. My name is Dr. Yvonne Murray Larrier and I am the founding president of GC Scored. And we're here today to teach you how to use one of our many uh, games and activities and assessment tools that are part of the Cultivating Seeds system framework. And with me today is none other than... I am Dr. Geneva Fleming, Vice President of GC Scored. Welcome, welcome. And so let me, let me share with you what the Eco Dice game is about. So I am gonna share my screen now and show you the actual activity multimodal game. All right, so here we have the Eco Dice game. Eco is from the word ecological systems theory which is one of our foundational theories in the Cultivating Seed System Framework. This game or activity or assessment tool helps individuals understand their relationship to self, to others within their home or in their families, others at work, school or the job, their self as it relates to their neighborhood or their community or the support systems that they are embedded in and also how they see themselves within their country. How do they experience being a part of a particular country, support system, community, school, job, work, family, home, and themselves. And so it serves multiple purposes. The Eco Dice game slash multimodal assessment tool serves multiple purposes. We use it for sometimes as icebreakers, we use it sometimes as an assessment tool and we do it simultaneously. We use it as an assessment tool and as an icebreaker. You can use it as you're doing counseling sessions to help you establish relationships, to help you maintain the relationships and to monitor and assess, you know, do checks and balances as you work with your, your client whether that person is in a school, community setting, hospital, every setting, you can use this Eco Dice game slash activity tool. And one of the things that this tool does as well, it helps to remove barriers. It just immediately removes any guardedness that your client may feel and experience when they're initially getting to know you. And it also helps you, the counselor, social worker, therapist, wellness champion, whoever is using this. It works in both directions. What are we getting ready to do? We're getting ready to play a game. So let's begin playing the game. So what you would need, you would need one of our activity sheets. And what else would they need, Dr. Geneva? Well, they will need a die to roll. A die they would need a die exactly and so the one that the die that geneva has has the dots okay they call those pipettes and so for children or individuals who are learning to count who are becoming numeracy literate this is a tool they can use as well then if those who are still in the record number recognition phase or stage they can use these the dice with the numbers on them. And so the numbers on the dice aligned with the numbers on game board or game activity sheet. So the one, the one on your dice is equivalent to self. And so you would want to ask the people who you're working with to input in that space something about themselves, a goal. What is their mission? What's, what is their name of strength or strengths? What are some of their weaknesses? What are some of their ambitions, their dreams? So that would be something they would put, what do they like? What don't they like? What are they good at in terms of school or work? Just anything about themselves. And two, yes, yes, there we go. So two, are you going to talk about anything related to your home or family? So for example, what would be an example of something at home, Geneva, that they can put? We can talk with them about how many people are in their family. What number are they? 
are they the first child, the second child, the last? We can have discussion about, ask them to fill in the blank space. And if you look to this side of the blank equal dice, they're going to be writing that information in here. Okay, and so we're going to show you in the next few minutes. So then we have three, completing the section three, exactly. And so this is the three. Three is work, job, or school. What are some questions you would want to know about work or school? Again, depending on the age of your client and the, the role of the client at that point, they may not even be working. And so their job would be working from home, whatever it is. One is self. Say something about yourself that you want me to know. Two. Tell me something about your family or your home. Three, tell me something about either if you're working, about your workplace or your job or school. And then we go to four. Tell us something about your neighborhood or your community. Is it, does your community have a library? Do you live in a rural community? Do you live in downtown? Do you live in a gated community? Are there a lot of shops in your community? So anything you can think of that is important, let that person tell you. And because it's open-ended, you don't have to be thinking about specific questions regarding a community or the work or the school. You just let them tell you what they want to tell you. And then the support systems is five and then six is country. So we're going to play a game now. We're going to show you how we're going to play this game model after what we're doing. So let's put Geneva's name and the date is going to be any date. What you would want to do is say session one and whatever date, because then this is going to remind you the date when you started and the information that you've got that is going to help really kind of steer some of your future discussions and meetings and sessions. Miss Geneva, so good to have you here today. Glad to be here. Wonderful. I love playing games. In fact, I'm ready. You're ready. Okay. Geneva has a die. So she is going to roll. And so one of the things as she's rolling, I just want to say, both of you need to play the game together. This is an interactive game. It's not the, the counselor, social worker, wellness champion giving instructions. You are going to be playing this game along with your client. So Geneva, roll the die, please. Four. Geneva rolled on four. So let's go to four. Four is neighborhood or community. So both of us now are going to input information here on her neighborhood. So Geneva, could you tell me something that you would like to share about your neighborhood? Sure. I would describe my neighborhood as a safe neighborhood that uh, has a diverse population. Interesting age group though. We have uh, young families of childbearing age and then retired families. So not, not a whole lot uh, in the middle, not a lot of teenagers in the community, but small children. But it's a, it's a safe community and it's one where people are uh, actively engaged. We have a neighborhood watch program. Wonderful. So like the client will give that information, they will write it on their Eco Dice activity sheet, and I will do the same, okay? This is how you can also do it virtually. My neighborhood is culturally diverse. Let's do another, I will, can I throw the dice now? Sure. Okay. You wanna roll the dice? Sure. I will roll the dice now. Let's see what I get. One. Okay, so let's go up to one. And one is what again, people? Self. Self. We're going to talk about ourselves. So I will start with I am driven. <laughs> so I'll stop there. Geneva, what would you say about self? I am a daughter, a mother, a sister, an auntie, um, a professor a friend, and a very hard-working individual. Geneva is a daughter, sister, I can't spell today, friend, hard-working. Auntie. Auntie. Mother. Oh, and grandmother. Yes, mom and G-mom. 
Right. Right. So this is Geneva. We'll go through this. And as you can see, this can take multiple sessions. And so one of the things we can tell you is people tell you what they want you to know and people tell you what is important to them. So you don't have to be concerned. Oh my goodness. I wonder if they're going to say X, Y, and Z. I wonder if they're going to say what the referring party said about them or what the, the court document said that they have issues with. People will tell you what is important to them, what matters to them, they're going to talk about. And you have to be, as a culturally responsive practitioner, practitioner. yes, practitioner, you have to be able to listen and not necessarily come with your own agenda. So this is how you would approach this activity, uh, this multimodal assessment tool. Anything else you want to add to this, Geneva, that people can? I think, I think you have really summed it up uh, beautifully. Okay. Um, I, I expect that others will take pleasure in utilizing this tool as much as I have. I have utilized this tool in my classroom teaching adults in the human services and social work field. So it is definitely multimodal. Mm -hmm. and transcends various settings. Thank you all for participating and going on this journey with us. And if you have any questions, you can reach us at info at gcscore.org or ISEE -E at gcscore.org. We would love to hear from you. We would love to hear how you're using this tool and the outcomes that you are experiencing from using this tool. We want to say thank you again and goodbye. Yes. <laughs>